The people who want to be Miami-Dade County's next mayor focused on the pandemic at a candidates forum tonight. Besides COVID-19, there are plenty of other pressing issues that could help decide that race. CBS 4's Ty Russell has more from Miami. In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, Miami-Dade County will get a new mayor to oversee a $9 billion budget and move the county into a new normal. Current County Mayor Carlos Jimenez cannot run for a third consecutive term, but a person who wants a third term is former County Mayor Alex Pinellas, who served two terms until 2004. One question was about water contamination and sewage, and he says COVID-19 relief money can help. We could access state money, I think, for a lot of our septic tank needs. There may be some federal dollars available, especially now in this era of economic recovery after COVID. In a candidate forum Thursday, the six hopefuls on the ballot tried to make their case to an online audience mostly in the South Miami-Dade area. They were asked about a big issue that brought thousands to the streets during the pandemic, which is law enforcement and accountability. They all agreed defunding is not an option. County Commissioners Daniela Levine Cava, Steve Bovo, and Xavier Suarez made their case. We need to give incentives for people to live in the neighborhoods they're policing. We need to do a better job of training uh, with nonviolent tactics as well, mediation, uh, uh, de-escalation. I have filed legislation to make sure that bad officers that have a history will not get hired by our department if they're coming from other departments, because we do want to make sure that the bad apples are weeded out. One other thing that's important is to have the right people at the top. When I was mayor of the city of Miami, we had three African-American police chiefs, first time in history. Newcomers, real estate broker Ludmila Dumond and businesswoman Monique Barley, are also trying to replace Jimenez. They also gave suggestions on how to help people get back on their feet who want to buy and rent homes, especially after losing money during the pandemic. Miami-Dade County does have available land, including for those who are renting. Miami-Dade County has homes that, that we can revitalize and revamp. I think that we should come up with a financial plan for small business owners and also the residents here in Miami-Dade County. Voters will select a county mayor on August 18th. If there's no simple majority, then that means a runoff in November. In Miami, I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.